Here it is. This is the video of the speedboat trip on the river in Bangkok. I must admit I thought this was going to be a slow peaceful cruise with a stack of other people. Was I ever wrong? These boats are small, narrow and low. You're almost sitting at water level. The boats are powered by four cylinder car motors balanced at the back of the boat. The engine is fired up and the prop at the end of a long shaft is dropped into the water. And then you hang on. These blokes are the hot rodders of the Bangkok River and they're bloody M.A.D. I tell you. We slowed down for a bit and then turned into a tributary of the river and the boat I was in slowed and stopped. Gas a hole is fuel. We stopped to get fuel while the girls continued upstream. You'll see the service station later. After filling with fuel we continued on to a small simple sweatshop type factory where traditional Thai desserts are made. They make a sweet noodle along with other traditional sweet dishes. The pre-pack section is fully automated of course. More people arriving gives you an idea of the elevation of the factory over the river. We left the factory and it was time for the girls boat to fill with fuel. This is the service station I mentioned earlier. The fuel is brought down to the boat in a large jug and poured into the boat's tank. My boat was drifting away a bit here so it was difficult to get some good pictures. Back on the river again and we arrived at a pier on the island we were travelling to. We were told we could have an hour or an hour and a half to look through the markets on the island and then the boat people would come back and pick us up. That annoying sound in the background is a motor of a crane running. Because the island is in the middle of the river, there's a lot of clay, so pottery is big here.
They make a water set. This has a round base, a bowl that sits on the base, and a conical lid that sits on the bowl. This bloke sits here all day making the same bowl, day in, day out. Kay asked him how many he makes a day. 300 a day, and you reckon your job is boring. Watch the guy come in from the right side of the screen and reach over and pick up a plastic bag off a hook on the post and drink from it. In Bangkok, a lot of um, soft drinks that are in bottles, they'll fill a plastic bag up with ice and pour the contents of the bottle into the plastic bag, put a straw in it, and that's what you get and they keep the, the actual bottle for a return deposit. Some of the bowls are not perfect so they end up here I guess. Some of the wall plaques however were very accurate. There are numerous narrow laneways winding around the island and you have to keep an eye and ear open for the local traffic. It can get rather busy at times. Because we got our wires crossed with the boat drivers we waited at the pier where we were dropped off for about two hours. We were supposed to meet them further upstream but the late one of the laneways in the markets was blocked so we couldn't get through. I found a few things to occupy my time. I noticed a bloke diving under the floating punts in the dirty river water, searching for lobsters and crabs. The annoying sound in the background is the engine of a crane they were using to unload concrete be beams nearby. His son was following along on the bank, running from punt to pier, watching his dad. Dad kept him busy with a river kid's toy, a frog. I took a lot of other video footage but that will have to go on another clip because I can only put 10 minutes on YouTube. Once we found our boat drivers waiting upstream for us, we were back in the boats and heading back for a continued lap around the island and back to where we started from. That was our day finished. <laughs>